The session will be available um, via the Go for Growth LinkedIn page and also the Durham PCC social media after the event. It will also be emailed to all registrants along with a copy of the slide deck. So everything that you see in here today, you will be able to get in slower time. So please don't worry about making too many notes unless you want to. Um, secondly, as, all, as always, we have a, a chat function and a Q&A function, so please do feel free to introduce yourselves on the chat should you wish to. It's nice to have so many people join us today. Um, if you do have any questions, we have reserved some time at the back end of the presentation today for questions and answers, so we will try um, and wait until the end to answer questions, but please feel free to use the Q&A function throughout the webinar session today. Um, when you go on to Q&A, you'll see that you can um, ask questions to uh, all of the panellists and hosts today. If you're wanting to chat, you have an option on chat of whether you chat to everybody or just the hosts and panellists. So just make sure the settings are set so that who you want to see your chat or your Q&A um, actually can see it. Um, and so without any further ado, I'll just introduce my colleague Hayley Tinson. Do you want to do a quick introduction? Yes, hello. Thank you for, for those joining us um, this afternoon now. Um, I'm just going to say questions um, at the end um, and I'm just going to whiz, whiz through a few, a few uh, presentation slides, hopefully giving you an overview. Um, how I've sort of drawn up the presentation is, is based off of questions that we've had previously um, from um, from uh, previous tender processes not necessarily relevant to to this uh, scope so that's where I've sort of guided it but that might mean that you've got other questions um, at the end uh, and I'll go through them there um, we have I was gonna say for Gillian I think Jean is hopefully trying to join us and I've just sent her a different link so she might be joining us should be joining us as well soon okay. so if you're able to go to the next slide for me that'd be great yeah. um, so in terms of the specification for service, so looking for provision in the counselling service that meets the needs so um, of uh, local to Durham and Darlington um, areas, and that's male and female ch and child and adult victims um, looking to support those at any time um, in a person's life. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail of the scope and operational requirements simply because they there isn't <laughs> it would think it would take up more host of the presentation if we did that in that amount of detail and it is there in the specification um so if you're able to have a look at the specification document it goes into detail what the specific operational um needs for the service would be um if there's anything in particular what if you've had a reader in particular then obviously yeah, we can go through that at the end um and yeah, as I've mentioned, tailoring it to meet the needs of the local uh, county Durham and Darlington population. Thank you. Um, so we're looking to procure a service for a total of 36 months um, with the opportunity to extend up to another uh, 12 months twice. So um, as it says there and the contracts different to in a particular what I wanted to focus on uh, for the contract and new to this time is breaking it down into three geographical lots um, so the contract itself combined total 75,000 uh, uh, and then what we've done this time is to look at to break it down and that's if you want to go on to the next slide that's sort of my main focus for this presentation really because it's different to how I've done it previously um, so the map that you're seeing on the right hand side um i apologize because it is saying lots and i appreciate in the um actual um documents that you've been sent out it does say um and now i'm just going back to see right sorry it does say so lot one being west lot two being east and not three being south and i've just not quite put that onto this slide um but it also, the, the reasoning for us breaking it down into geographical uh, lots was um, we're sort of aware that there is a, a combination of providers that might be interested um, in applying um, and some are larger than others. So it's just being able to allow for um, a variety of providers, providers being able to apply. Um, 
and you can see here that we've got um, it's not been divided you know, between the three equally. It has been divided based on looking at population compared with um, the police data for crimes and the police data for incidents. And based on that information, um, coming up with um, the numbers that you see here um, on the screen, um, sort of so reflective of um, the size and, and need for each area. Um, and I'm just thinking if I've got anything else um, in relation to that. Um, and just going to what, what document relates to this, this will be looking, um, this is being brought up in the, the pricing matrix as to where you'll be able to see um, this information is on the screen. And I think hopefully you should have received um, um, the map um, as well as being sent out to you. Um, and that map that we've used there is reflective of um, the policing areas, um, how the police would um, to separate their boundary lines. Um, and that's how we've managed to get the data to correspond with those areas. So you want to move on to the next slide for me, please. So this is giving you um, a overview of the uh, of the, the time frame. Um, so we're already on the way uh, with this. Um, so hopefully you will be able to see a copy of this timetable that has been copied and this has been directly copied over from the ITT. Um, and um, giving an overview of timeframes. Um, and I'm just trying to think if there's anything in particular to pull out, pull out from it, but it was mainly to be able to pull you to so that you know where it is being in the ITT document. Um, and that we're in the clarification um, stage at the moment. And obviously we've got Go for Growth with us that I've already been, um, hope, I think some of you have attended um, sessions with them around the process. Um, so please do ask any questions and continue to do so in this, in this stage. So you're happy to, to move on to the next slide for us. Um, so this is inf this is um, information that hasn't been sent out previously, um, and we're aware um, trying to give an idea of capacity um, to support those um, that um, this is sort of uh, newer to them. Um, just giving you an overview, really, we've got the referrals between. Um, don't have the quarter one referrals, but the quarter two, three, and four referrals, um, and these are the overall referrals coming into the current provider's service. Um, just to give you an idea, um, I think it's also helpful because obviously we're asking for it to be um, uh, a service that is uh, suitable for um, you know children and adults. But this help this age range here is just to give you a bit of an idea as to where the majority of um, like majority average age based on that year. Um, sorry, I'll explain that again. So this is the average per quarter. So I've, I've got, what I've done is I've taken each quarter and, and gained the average from that uh, rather than sort of giving too many numbers. Um, but it's just important to sort of be able to see, I think for this is those that are in the under 18s and the numbers that you're getting for the under 18. Um, group um because you'll see from the specification that we have required there to be sort of specific qualified and trained um counselors for both children and adults um and then just going back onto the left referrals between um april and march but looking at what um what support areas somebody um is looking for in terms of counseling again just a bit of a bit of a guidance um to help with um you know training and knowledge bases um, for the counsellors. Um, because in particular, well, I'll, I'll move on actually, but um, so that's um, information there that isn't available elsewhere. Um, and I think as Julian has mentioned, the slides are getting are going to be shared, so you will be able to see them again. Um, if you're able to move on to the next slide, please. Um, so what I was just about to go on to there, because one 
the gateway questions and what we've done with the gateway questions is taken from the service specification sort of key areas of focus for, for what we're looking for and putting them into the gateway questions um, just so that we're not sort of, if there's, a, you know, really focusing to make sure that providers are looking at focusing on what we're focusing on. And I'm aware that one of those um, questions uh, does particularly talk about training for children, uh, being trained in relation to children, supporting children and adults. Um, that's a, probably a start, that would be a starting place. And I'm sure Gillian's gone through the process previously with some of those that tend to last week, but that would be a starting place. And hopefully, I would say for most people, they, it will probably be going yes, 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 yes to those questions. If there is a one where you're thinking not sure, or it might be a no, um, that doesn't mean not to um, not to continue. But what we've asked is, and that's what I'm highlighting here, we've asked if you could um, reach out and, and contact um, You've got the email addresses there, um, and I think you already have the email addresses for the procurement team. Reach out and just query it with us, um, because it might not be that you don't continue on, um, but it would be good to just check in with the with the team to um, see what it might be that you're not able to to sort of answer yes at that stage. And it, it might simply be that it's not currently, but it anticipated to be, and you want to just clarify something. Um, so please do, um, you know, reach out if, if there is a query around those gateway questions. Um, and um, I'm just thinking, um, yeah, and hopefully you've all, received, we've all, you all hopefully will have received the documents so you'll, rather than me going through now what those gateway questions are. Um, I think that's what I wanted to highlight was just to make sure that you're just checking in with us if there is anything you're querying. So yeah, I'm happy to move on. Thank you. Um, so moving beyond um, those uh, gateway questions, um, I was just taking a breakdown of um, so bear with me, I'm just going to slightly flick onto a different screen for me. Um, the assessment questionnaire. Um, there we go. Um, so highlighting just on this slide here that they're not, there is, um, they're not all equally weighted. Um, and in terms of just to give an idea as to, to where the weighting has, has gone. Um, just I think to highlight maybe different from previously, um, the only change that there had been um, from had been around increasing the social value and sustainability weighting. So we've actually increased that weighting. Um, and that I think is reflective of what we're really looking for is around um, those providers that are really linked in with the community uh, and um, working in partnership with those of those services around them um, and are aware of what um, if they're not currently providing but aware of what the referral pathways would be and what they would be setting up to make sure that this um, this service is really sitting in within the, the, the framework and model of services that are available um, to the people that will be using the service. Um, so that was um, really um, keyly important um, but also um, that second part of that topic is uh, of that um, header sorry is also highlighting highlighting um, uh, a commitment to also look, looking at the health and well-being of local communities beyond those that they may necessarily be directly supporting um, and that's also highlighting this by by and for services ensuring that we, we're hearing um, hearing the voice of the people that are using the service uh, and continuing to develop um, and, and provide the best service possible really. Um, so, uh, 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 just having a quick flick through, is there anything that I've particularly missed off of that? Um, I don't know if if Jean is 
Abel is off off mute. I know we had a question at the beginning as to if she's on mute or, or not. But if there was anything in particular there um, that Jean wanted um, to highlight in terms of particular focus areas in those questions. So can can you hear me here? Yes. I... yes, we can hear yes. you. Yes, I'm obviously off mute. Um, no, no, not really, Hilly. I think you've covered um, most of the things really that are um, that we're interested in seeing, and 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 I think there's a there's quite a lot of um, it's divided up quite a lot and quite evenly across a lot of areas that we're that we're looking at in terms of you know when we do the evaluation. But I don't think there was anything. Did you say there was a question for me yeah. at the beginning? No, well, I mean, there'll be an opportunity for more questions. I think, I think it might be right. off the slide, but I was just wanting to question there if there was any other particular headings that we wanted to give focus to. But I think it was that social value and stability that is the one that we've changed slightly yes. because it's reflective of what we're looking for. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm happy for the next slide then, but obviously we've got questions afterwards. Um, and this. Uh, I've added this slide in because it was a particular question that has come up in um, other pres uh, other um, clarification um, periods, um, and just um, I know it is one of the areas um, in the um, assessment stage around transition and um, proposals to 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 look at how you would plan to manage manage that. Um, um, manage that moving forward. So it was just to bring your attention to that information being available. I think this is copied from the ITT. Um, so this information is available, and obviously this is the standard um, standard information. Um, but also, I think it's um, something that we'll be really looking, probably looking at, um, and giving some, you know, again, that's a focus area for us around that transition stage and being able to manage it um, to ensure that we can get the best out of that period and um, that there is you know the service moves forward without with the limited impact on on those that are using the service um, I'd also say this is probably dependent on moving forward this will be an area that would be um, potentially more information available for moving moving forward, because um, obviously it's a bit early at this stage to, to, to have that information available to us. Um, and I've also just realised that the email address at the bottom, I need to clarify whether that's correct um, for, for Debbie. Um, so, yes, um, I think, I know that's a bit of a next, next slide. I think that's my slides in general. So that is, I mean, it's a fairly, quick overview view there in terms of just trying to pull out the highlighted areas um, and, the, and the geographical lots. Um, so if you've got any questions, I think this is a sometimes better way to know what it is that you want to know um, rather than what we're telling you and pulling out from documents you've already received. So has anyone got any, I don't know, Gillian, if you're able to see the chat, um, if anyone's got any questions in the chat or if they want to come off mute and, and let us know. So I, um, there's nothing in the Q&A or the chat just yet, but there were a, a couple of yeah. things I noted down to ask, which might be yeah. useful for people on the call. So I just wanted to clarify the figures that you'd quoted um, for each lot, they're per year figures, aren't they? Yes, they're per year. The 75,000 per, it's per year. Yeah, not total yeah. contribution. 75,000 the total for the year. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And it's a three plus one plus one. So uh, there yeah. could be five years in total, but the minimum term is three years. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, brilliant. Um, and there were on the, the slide about referrals, and this is actually probably more for me. I, I imagine people who are uh, delivering these services will know what CSA is. Sorry, childhood, um, child sexual abuse. Oh, right. OK, perfect. Thank you. Um, and I did also just want to mention, so when you talk through the selection uh, gateway questions, yeah. um, there are some YouTube videos that we've got uh, on go for growth around mandatory and discretionary exclusion. So there is some support already out there. So we'll include that link when we send a copy of this uh, video session out as well. Um, and we did cover it on the process webinar, but in case people haven't uh, uh, attended both, we can, we can send both out with it. But there's a few things there to help people get through those selection uh, questions if they've got 
any issues with them. Um, and I think that was it from questions that I noted as we went through. We've not got anything on the chat or the Q&A uh, today, uh, but Jean has popped her hand in the air. So, Jean? Sorry, I, I think I've come in on Haley's link, so I yes, apologise. No, I'm not sure your camera's there. It was just to say, Haley, that I have um, checked and the two emails that you've given, it would be the Isabel one. So the Debbie one is no longer relevant, but the Isabel one is correct. That's what yeah. I was thinking when I was going through. Um, so that's... Um, Do you want me to go back a slide? Yeah, I'm just yeah. thinking it will just mean that the... Um, uh, the actual original document but I don't think we'll be able to change that at this stage um, but we can always note yeah. that as um, okay. with people leaving yeah okay perfect and I think that's it there's nothing else on the Q&A or the chats but if if um, any people who are attending today find the minute that they leave which is often the way that there are questions that you wish you'd asked or you think of as you go through the documents or you're pulling your bid submissions together um, do feel free, as Hayley said, to use the clarification question process. Um, if it's process related, you can come directly to Go for Growth if you want to. If you've got any questions, then come to Go for Growth. If it's for clarification, we'll point you in the right direction. So do feel free to get in touch with the procurement team um, or Go for Growth or use the clarification process. Um, just Hayley. very quickly, yeah, just thinking, um, and then it's literally going back to the first slides about the scope. Um, it has been that I just I suppose to clarify that it hasn't specified in terms of um, what the, the actual support someone um, might receive um, from the service. There hasn't gone into specifics around around that. Um, so it really is a case of looking for those that are applying to really give their um, their suggestion and, and their proposed you know what's a, a, what's possible based on um, the, the the further side that I've put in terms of um, expected capacity and um, uh, the contract um, value. Um, so just to highlight that um, is my only thought. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, unless there is anything else, I think we can end it there. We'll give people some time back, which is uh, no doubt welcomed by everyone. And thank you, Hayley. Thank you, Jean, for joining us today. And we will send all of the communications out as planned to everyone. Perfect. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you, thank everyone. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.